Hello. Hi, everyone. Look who's here. Hello. It's Rach. Hey. Rach, she was told that this was a solo playthrough, but she has been begging and begging to be in this stream. Oh, so, thought we'll do a, a duo oh, solo I stream like again. Game. You love Glass Road, though, don't you? It's, it's right. been a long time since we played it. I think it's hard to know. I've, I haven't been a consistent board game stats over the years. In the olden days, we can see loads of numbers when we played things, but there's a there's some wilderness years where I wasn't keeping track. But it's I say snappy. It's a it's a very light on the rules kind of game, but the like the rules of how all the buildings and the cards work, the interaction of all of that stuff is where all the good stuff is. So it's kind of thinking that, like, I don't know how long it is since we last played Glass Road. It's probably been a few years. Yeah. But I, I know how to play this. Watch as, like, th this is the time when I get everything wrong, though, where I think that I know how to play a game. So we'll see how it goes. We played it not that long ago, really. Didn't we play it at some sort of event? I feel like we did. We did. Yeah. I remember. I feel like it was really long ago. Longer than it should have been. Oh, hi, everyone. Is everything coming through okay? Marty can. Marty is not here currently. He is... I think he's on the bed, sulking. But Rach is in his chair anyway, so... He won't be coming in. Marty... I say his chair, my chair that he keeps commandeering. Well, yeah, Marty doesn't like his chair. He likes Rach's chair. So, when when Rach is on... It's, it's doubtful he'd be in here anyway, though. We had a fluke, didn't we? Um. In a recent stream when he was on. Hi everyone, that's coming through okay. Lance, you ordered it when you saw I'd be doing one, and I'll be here later today. That's perfect timing. You can try actually exactly what we're gonna do and see if you can beat us, although you will know which buildings are coming, is the the trick with that. But I'm BGA right now. You couldn't work out how to get brick, not played in a long time. It makes it more I, I assume you know by now, Michael, but we'll go into this. The the way Glass Road works, we'll be playing all sorts of worker cards to get resources, build stuff on our farmstead on our land here. We'll be getting rid of trees, replacing them with these buildings, using them to convert things into other things, to gain things based on the land that we've got, based on other resources that we've got, and the bottom buildings are specifically for scoring, although all the buildings can get you some points, unless it says a big zero on them. And we have these resource wheels that we've since seen in some other Uwe Rosenberg games. So it's tracking how much we've got of each of these resources. And there are two wheels. Some of the things are on both wheels. So food, like when you when you spend it, you can spend it from either wheel. And you can split it up and stuff if you want. When you gain it, I can just move up this tracker that tells you how much you've got. You can't have more than seven of any of these things. But say we gain a sand over here on our glass wheel. And we've just got the first thing we do in the game is gain one sand the wheel whenever it's got a gap here will automatically turn and so now you can see we have spent one of everything here and we get a glass like that's just automatic so sometimes you have to plan for that because sometimes you think oh i need a sand to do what i want i need a sand to afford this building and then a glass makes itself and suddenly you don't have a sand anymore and the same same for bricks. As soon as we made this uh, charcoal, it would automatically make a brick and spend one of everything. It's very cool. And yeah, we have got... Everybody gets the same... I think it's 15 cards of all of these various workers with two abilities on them. And you can see I did a playthrough a long time ago now with Little Glass Marty, where in the multiplayer game... Actually, that, that was a two-player game, which the rules already have to vary a little bit for two players. But generally... Players will pick, I think it's five cards in a round to themselves. And when it comes round to your turn, you play one of these cards. And if nobody else played it, you get to do both bits on it. But if somebody else did play it, then they have to play it from their hand. And between you all, you get you each get to choose one of the two things. So you are trying to like decide what's best for yourself but also try and piggyback because like you aren't necessarily going to get to play all of your cards so you want to try and see that oh this person's got, this person's putting a lot of these lakes down they're probably going to put a, they're probably going to play the pond builder card it looks like they're really going for that so sometimes you want to do a bit of piggybacking that's 
kind of what you want to do, but you're hoping that someone else will play it so you'll get bonus cards to play. In the solo game, obviously there's there's nobody else to be playing cards, so we just have seven rounds, seven building periods, which usually I think there's four usually. So we have a different number of cards we will pick from our hands each time. I think it is three, three, four, five, six, three, four, five in the seven rounds. So in the first round, we'll pick three of these cards. And then we shuffle up the cards that we pick. We draw one and do one of the two things on it. And we keep doing that until we've only got two cards left. In the first round, that's going to be almost instantly. Out of the two cards that are left, you can choose one of them to do both things. And the other one, you're going to just get to do one thing. So we can pick the cards, but we're not necessarily going to know the order in which we can do the things. So, and that, that happens in the multiplayer game of Glass Road as well, that you've picked a card you desperately want to do. You desperately want to build a building, but you need clay first. And so obviously straight away, somebody plays the build a building card before you've got the right stuff for it. And you have to build something else or completely waste your turn because you can't play that card later now. So there's, it's replicating that kind of thing as well. Another thing, who's that? The, the chat scrolled. Jamie, we weren't playing with the BGG Solo Challenge, but I thought when you mentioned it, why don't we play with the BGG Solo Challenge? Like I used to play these for Feast for Odin all the time, mm -hmm. way back when. It's great to see these are still going. So every month on the Board Game Geek forums for Glass Road, you should see a link to Board Game Geek Glass Road page in the description of this video. If you go to the forums, there is a forum post for Glass Road Solo Challenge April 2024. No promos involved. Just the basic game stuff. Everyone's got the same cards anyway. The order in which we do them is going to be random. But the setup of buildings we've got here is defined by this page, by this solo challenge. That's that's what's going to define it, basically. They tell us which buildings are out there, and when we need to draw a fresh building, we're going to reveal from a list that's secret right now. So there's going to be a little bit of time digging through piles. But yeah, there's a secret list that will tell us which building to get next, and then you, you submit your score to this challenge, and everyone's trying to get... I think it says in the rulebook, 30 is a remarkable score in this game. And part of the aim of the solo challenges is, are all of the combinations of buildings viable to get like that magic score? I don't think I ever really got close to 30. It's a low scoring game, Glass Road, especially if you're not amazing at it. So with this combination of stuff, we're gonna be trying to cook up 30 or more points. We'll see how that goes. Hey Bonnie, I'm well, glad you could catch us. Oh, since just before the wedding. Remember those times, right? It's a long time. Nearly is. Hey, Matt. How's it going? Right, so I think we're pretty much ready to get started then. Shall we have a look? Oh, yeah. And uh, you can support the channel on Patreon and Kofi. They're on the screen. They're in the chat. They're in the description. You can go there if you would like to. Thanks if you can, because it's how we're able to make the things. So shall we have a look at this stuff then that we've got to start with? We're in the way of a little bit. So the buildings, they've got a points value in this bag. They've got a cost on the left that we need to spend from our wheels. Top ones are processing buildings. You can use these whenever you like and as often as you like. These are things that happen when you activate the building. Like when you build the building, right? And then the bottom ones are points that are evaluated at the end. So, it's very sandy, the set up, isn't it? It is quite sandy. I see straight away thinking like, oh, the joinery. We start off with like, is it six of those tree tiles on here? We start off with a fair bit of wood. We can turn that combination into four food. And then over here at the sand factory, we can turn a food into two sand quite a lot as well. Sand Island gets us a lot of sand if we build adjacent lakes. Log Driver gets you wood for the water you've got. Winery, you can turn your, I don't know, your, your different trees, your smaller tree tiles into food and wood. 
hot springs gets you charcoal for every water that you've got. And what have we got for scoring? A point for every two clay, two points for every adjacent, like, sand pit next to the factory. Forest is large, four points if you've got, like, a, a great big mm. combo of forest. And then the extension, a point for every adjacent building tile. So you've got to make space for the building tiles as well. So I think kind of, if you went for the winery, that kind of knocks out the forester's lodge, doesn't it? Yeah. Although, yeah, because you want those to exist at the end. Well, and you whenever you build the winery... Get rid of all of them when you build the winery. Yeah. Oh, thanks, JB. Thank you. There's work. It's fun work. So, I will say, straight away, I've got no idea what we're going to do in this. Well, are we going, for, are we going to go the sand route? It seems... And go glass? Yeah, it does seem like it's easier to get sand, doesn't it? But at the same time... Oh, we need everything, really. A lot like, of things need... Because the, the way that we'd usually go... Bricks. Or the way that I might go to get a load of sand is... Put a load of those sand pits down and then play the pit worker. Who can... Oh, does he? is he the one that puts them down as well? Yes, play the pit worker. So he puts a new sand pit down and gets you a clay. And or he gets you a sand or a clay for every pit you've already got. So that's the usual way I'd go about getting sand. But if we were doing this to get food stroke sand, I would kind of think, well, there's no point getting all of the pits then. If we can turn food into sand whenever we want, we want to do maybe the forest manager that gets you a food for every forest. Mm. And if we're going to... Ooh, is the thing starting to click, Rach? If we were going to... If we were going to do this to get a load of food all the time, then we probably want the forester's lodge. Like, if we're going to be putting more of these down, but it depends on the order in which these things come out, doesn't it? I would agree with Matt. I, I'm always lost at the start. Oh, I'm lost. I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to make some semblance of... We've got 15 cards to play here, and we can play three of them. So let's, let's do things. Randomly draw three, and then go from there. That yeah, that be, should be the solo challenge. That would be my... Based on three random cards. Here's the setup. Here's your three random starting cards. Well, what do you want to build first of all? Look at the what well, they need because this joinery needs a glass. True, and three clay. but we do start with some food. Mm. So if we built the sand factory, we could start using it. We need three wood, which we've got, a clay, which we've got, a brick we haven't got. So all we would need to get a brick is a charcoal, but that would spend the clay as well. As soon as we gain a charcoal, so. And the forest is like, we could build that much, much later. We don't need to build that right away. But also, the sooner we build things, the sooner we start seeing stuff that's underneath. That's... I the joinery is a nice one to get early, though, as well, because that's a way of you clearing all of this space to get the forests, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? But that one's a glass. We only need a sand to get a glass, but three clay. We'd need two more clay just to build that. So let's see then. We can just get, like, the clay worker here. That's a way of getting two clay. And ways of getting sand. Fuel collector, a charcoal per card in your hand. Well, we wouldn't have a great big hand this time. No. Um, that's just some more charcoal. That's the cultivator putting some more stuff down as well. Like, if we want to build stuff, we want... Like the supplier here. I think the supplier, it said in the solo game, works a bit differently. The first ability of the supplier, so in a in a normal game, this is take two of the same good, and then every other player gets one of that good. In the solo game, that is just get one of any just good. Stay on the card. Oh yeah. It's just get one of any good. And the bottom is this icon is build a building. So that's something. We could do to build some. Although, is it a terrible idea to pick build a building in the first round? Because it could be the first card we draw, and then we can't afford it. Yeah, we don't it. want to build a building until the next round, probably. No. We want to get our resources up. We probably don't want to play. Oh, and another important thing I didn't say with choosing the cards in the solo game. The, the, the three cards we pick in this round, we cannot pick next round. At the end of round two, they're available again. But the cards we picked in round two aren't available next time. So... 
You can put buildings in the private offer. That's the way to get clay then. And what's the other thing we needed? Coal. Charcoal. Oh, sand. No oh, sand. It's the pit worker can get us two sand right now because we've got two pits. I don't really want to put another one down, but I mean, the factory might. If you put a pit there, the factory's all already. But then we've got no space to build anything else until we get no. something. No. But hopefully, we're going to build the joinery next time. Although, next round, we'll have the resources for it, and we don't know when we're going to do it. Because you've got stuff that gets rid of, like the slash and burn farmer here. See, if, if they've got something here, that's a cost to play the card. So, the slash and burn farmer gets you food or charcoal. And it costs you one of these strips. So that is a way of clearing out space pretty quick as well. You can also, you can discard any of this stuff whenever you want. A pit, a grove, or a pond. I don't think you can choose to discard these. But a pit, a grove, or a pond, you can choose to discard at any time. It's just that you might not want to because you could, they're usually useful. And you can sometimes get rid of them for much more useful purposes. What are these? More cards I've put in a pile for some reason. That's that's building a building as well. So what do we want? Sand. That's two water and a sand that costs a food. That's sand per lake that we've got. It's like maybe with Sand Island, we'd want to put some lakes down. Like do the pond builder instead of the pit worker to get sand. Do you know what I mean? And then we could put a pond there. Think about the Sand Island later on. Get us loads of sand. But what are we going to do with all this sand? I don't really make, know. Make glass, I guess. Yeah. We need what? sand right now. Not much, do we? We need one. We need a sand. We don't need a ton of stuff. What are we building? We're going to go for the joinery. Right, okay. Because then we can start clearing these right, great big things out, can't we? Come on. So definitely the clay worker, because we want clay. We've got water to pay, that's fine. One of those to get sand. And then a third thing... I don't know. Well, if we build this, we get this sand. Yeah, we could we could the, start we clay. could start thinking about the factory, couldn't we? If if we ended up putting sand pits down, just we we're only going to get to do both things on one of these cards. So maybe maybe we just play both of them. Sure. Like the forest manager, I want to use, but we want to get a grid of four together, don't we? So. I don't really want to use him until okay, we've got space to put right. more down. Let's do it. I don't want to use him yet. Why? <laughs> I, I want to say because we want to make the grid of four, don't we? But I don't know where that's going to go yet. But I don't know what the third thing we should do this round is. Like, should we start throwing away the... It feels like we shouldn't start throwing away the strips because we're going to get a building that can throw them away for much more useful things. Not that charcoal and food isn't important. We could get charcoal and build bricks and start getting ready for... the other stuff. It's like, I don't know a, a good way of getting wood as well. The fuel collector can get us wood. Yeah. Well, if, if he comes last, if he comes last though, that is going to get us one charcoal. Uh, it'll be rubbish, won't it? We don't really want charcoal, though. We want wood. Like, that costs us a wood strip and gets us two. That gets us some water. I mean, we'll be getting food, won't we? Yeah, so maybe the water carrier would be useful. Let's go for it. Let's make a decision. It's funny. The way to get points is just from the buildings. The point of the game is to get resources and convert to buildings. Exactly. As Matt's already said. Yes. There is no, like I said at the start, this is a low scoring game. Uwe says in the rule book, 30 is remarkable. You can see the points values on these tiles. We're hopefully going to be building more than is available right now. This is this is all of your points. So yeah, shuffle, shuffle them up and then first one we definitely just get one card. One action from. So our top choice, the water carrier. So we've got to spend a food either way. We want a glass, don't we? So I'll spend it from this one. Because if we spent it from here, we'd then need to earn a food to make glass. And we can either have two water and a sand or two water and a wood. Should we go for 
sand. So we yeah. want that, don't we? We're all going to get sand later, but that's that's coming well, up. Well, we do, because when we get a sand, we're going to lose the sand. So we yeah. need to start building it up. So a sand and two water. And there's a gap, which means we glass, get glass everyone. instantly makes itself. And you don't need to do anything other than turn the wheel. I love the wheel. It's the one over areas in Boogie have always been many to get and could never find. Or hopefully, like, I, I never know, like, the current status of stuff. But I think this was reprinted not too long ago by Capstone. And it includes, like, we've got a... Uh, We've got things that came in the advent calendar years and years ago. That was nearly 10 years ago, that advent calendar. It's crazy. Uh, there's a little Harlequin solo only card. They're all like included in it in the latest version, I think. I don't know about Lo Yang though. Did that ever get reprinted? Right, so we've done the water carrier. The water carrier is off limits for next round. And then you reveal both of them now, right? Because oh, yeah. we've only got two left. And we decide. One of them, we do both things. And one of them, we just do one thing. So we can either get four clay, or we can get one clay and then... We could get a pit. Three of something. And this this gets us sand, doesn't it? Puts down a pit, gets us a clay, yeah, probably. and three sand. I like sand, that. I do like, since you're paying the water anyway, why not get four clay? But I'm kind of leaning towards this and maybe getting the factory. Yeah, we need to pump the sand up. Should we go for pit worker does mm -hmm. both then? So clay worker is spend a water and then get two clay. So now we've got the three clay we need. And then the pit worker is put a pit down. So shall I say here? Yeah. Or I could say, mm. I could say there and then there's two adjacent here as well. It's just. Shall I say there? And put the factory there later Sure. because if i say there it means we need to get rid of this later doesn't it and this to put pits down we don't really want to get rid of a forest maybe up here we'd want the four forests or something like that i don't know so we've done that and then do we want three sand or three clay because we've got three pits that have just shifted around everywhere that. shifting things around discreetly so that. did you get one did you do the one clay yeah. And then Have did I? you get your sands? No. Yeah, because we just yeah. got two. You haven't done the You start with one. No, I haven't. Clay, and then we might as well have sand, don't we? Mm hmm One, two, three sand. So that's okay for now. And we don't make anything yet because we've still got no food and no charcoal. We've got some stuff there. So they're off limits for next round. I'm just going to put them off to the side. And we've got a pick. So we definitely want to build something. So I think these are our building options. So these ones, there is no cost to build something. The cultivator, if he came out late, he'd also let us put something down. Yeah, that's all the stuff that we can build things with. To build the sand factory, we need a brick. And I think we'd also need a clay. So we want four clay from these, and building a brick will spend a clay. So to get a brick, we're going to need charcoal from somewhere. Like maybe the charcoal burner. Mm -hmm. That costs a wood, which isn't ideal. But maybe the forest manager this time to start getting forests down. Do you think maybe two things to build? Oh, we're building. Hope to build the, the joinery, joinery and the sand and factory. Like... It's just that... I don't really want them to come out together. Oh, we might not even have the food. Because we want the joinery out and then start using it to clear a load of space, don't we, to... Do you get this one of these that's free to play? Maybe the carpenter, because we're going to want one of these out of the way, that's aren't true. we, to, to build anything? Unless well, you, you discard, the like, the pond. But if you built the joinery first, you could then use yeah. that to get rid of stuff. But our only spot to... is where we want the factory to go. Oh, yeah. You can throw stuff away. We could throw a pond away, like if we wanted to. But fish farmer could get you food for every pond you've got. Like everything's useful and you've got to just get rid of some stuff. Maybe the woodcutter. Get rid of a strip for a load of wood. Because later on it's just making food really easy to get into. So we'll play them. So we don't need charcoal instantly. How many cards do we need this time? Four. Yeah. So it's three last round, it's four this round. 
But I thought you wanted to build two things. Should we do the carpenter? And maybe the cultivator and hope that the cultivator comes out later. Or actually the supplier, if the supplier came out later, he'd let us get a good mm. and a building, wouldn't it? And the good might just be what we need you know, to get like the charcoal if it comes out in the wrong order. Should we say them for? We'll stick to our decisions. Try to make good decisions, but also quick ish. Snappy. Ish decisions. As snappy as they can be. When we're Euroing it around. Not as snappy as a crab. So, the first two this time, we're only going to get... But let's do them one at a time. Yeah. So we've got our first of four. I just want to do another little shuffle. Okay. There we go. It felt like I needed one more. So first one is the supplier. That's unfortunate. So, well, we want to build then, don't we? Yeah. So we'll say, well, the yeah, cause the joinery is what we want to build. Do we throw a pond away? Probably. Like this one? Yeah. Oh, the sand island wants you to have ponds. We've got ways of getting sand, don't we? Well, we don't know if we're going to do the sand island. Island in the end, we don't know what no. else is going to come out. So the joinery costs a glass and three clay. But now we can we can use this instantly and for whatever we like. Shall I find out what the first blue thing is? It's the swamp hut wrench is our next. Does that come out straight away? Yeah. Is our next building in here. So now I want these, I want one of these three for forests. I think clear this one away and spend a wood and get four food. One, two. If I put food here, it's going to make a glass. Is that good or bad? My word. The swamp hut turn a pond into two charcoal. Bit late. What do you think, Rach? We've got two more food to gain. I would say make a glass. What, what's the downside of having a glass? That it would spend one of um, everything else. Do we need those things? Well, we can get more of them. To make a sand factory? That's three. Shall I put another one here as well? So we've met, we need three wood, remember? Yeah, there we go. Three wood. <laughs> we do... We have got a card that gets us more wood. If the build, if the next building card comes out, that's going to... It's going to be a shame. Because we also cause we need a brick, really. Because I've just spent. Oh, but we needed space. Oh, well. Right, so let's just see. We might have to pivot to some other building. We only get to do one of these things. Oh, that's Spender Wood. Oh, I might have messed up here. Spender Wood to get three charcoal. So we definitely want to stay there because we, yeah. we need a brick. Two, three, even it out a bit. And now we get to pick from these cords mm -hmm. which one we want to do both things. Some of the buildings want yeah. to be adjacent. So we're kind of thinking the factory here gets two points for every adjacent pit. So we're kind of thinking of putting that here. Some yeah. buildings, like the joinery doesn't care. That one per where adjacent. It is. Yeah, some of building. them care about being adjacent to stuff. So the blue buildings are processing buildings. You can activate these whenever you want, as many times as you want. These are like instant buildings. So the sand island, two sand for every adjacent pond where you put it, but just when you build it and then that's it. And then these bottom ones are all about points. Although the extension as well just wants to be adjacent to buildings. Doesn't care which. Just any buildings. So we've got the forest manager and the carpenter. So if we did both things, yeah, on yeah, the if we did both can of, we afford to build something? If we did both of the forest manager, I think that would oh, give God. us the wood that we need. Oh, but we haven't got the clay, so we can't build the sand factory that we were aiming for. So do we want to build something else? Pivot. Probably. I mean, the sand produced, that's spending wood as well. Wood production's going to be tough. The winery lets us turn forests into food and wood. Kind of want cheap things, don't we? We do have a glass that's just hanging about. 
But this needs a clay, and we haven't got a clay. Oh, true, we've got no clay. Buildings that don't want clay. We've got the Forester's Lodge, which is a bit early. We might have to go for it. And that one's three wood. Oh. We can't build that. Oh dear. No Are these wood. all of these? Need wood. Potter's parlor wants clay. This is for adjacent. So we could know the factory wants four wood. All... Oh, we are going to make wood. Remember? Oh yeah, but we're we... going to make. But we need to make more than one wood. We're going to make four wood. So we're going to be so okay, we'll aren't we? Three... We'll have three wood. We're then. short clay. Yeah. So we could build something a bit early. Well, we would be able to afford this. Yeah. Or, or the this. forester's lodge. That oh. seems pointless because we've only got one. Yeah, it would just be adjacent to one lake. pond and get us two sand, and then that's there taking up a space on our board. It is worth a point. Mistakes were made. Yeah. So we're really hoping the supplier would come later and we'd get yeah. to. We were going to get a clay with the supplier, I think. Downside, should have thought well, of getting a clay somewhere. We don't have to build something, we could just do both of these and just get a Yeah, wood it seems a shame up. to get rid of a whole strip for just one wood, though. I think you can choose to say you don't want to play it. Oh, what a waste. Yeah. Well, the forest manager, no matter what, we want to start trying to build this thing, don't we? So shall I put... Oh, no, we didn't... We... Oh. Shall I leave... I'm going to change my mind and say I got rid of this strip. Build it up here, because we want this to be a pit, don't we? Mm -hmm. For the factory oh, yeah. in there, we want these two things to be pits. So that could maybe be the start of our forest grid. Do both sides of the forest manager, yeah. shall we say. So did you get a wood as well? Get a wood, which is going to make a glass and spend the wood. Well, that's okay, because okay, we're going to when... get more woods, aren't we? Yeah. When I got charcoal, put it on this wheel instead. I'm doing a take back. So it won't make the glass. Get a wood, and then we'll say a wood for every... Forest, which is three. We've got some forests now. And then... Shall we do the Forester's Lodge? Sure. We know we're doing it. Because it's a, it's a strip anyway to do it. And then we'll build the Forester's Lodge up in the country. Yeah. Which means we're going to have to get rid of this pond at some point. Well, we know to... we're going to do that. Have it out of the way up there, then. So if we can get a square of four forests, that's four points. Something. Oh, we need... I need to look at the solo challenge for our next orange building. Friends of Nature House. And that's it for the round, isn't it? I'm back in you. Oh, yeah. The three from the first round now come back into it. So now... We get oh, five cards. There's a friends of nature house. Yes. Oh, is it cottage? Oh no. Oh no. Well. I mean, that's the joinery's right in the way. That could have been. That could have been a nice pivot. The joinery's in a very. Yeah, but we want to do place. this, which is more oh, yeah. points anywho. No, but I, I think we could still have done that and maybe put two more pits here and. I, I don't think the Friends of Nature house is happening. Maybe. It, it could go down in this corner, maybe. That's a lot of pits to put down. It's something to think about. It's not happening anytime soon, though. So. Recovery. To afford the sand factory, we need... We've got wood. Did I, I didn't spend the three wood to build that, did I? We shouldn't have four wood after building that. We need wood recovery. And we need... Clay recovery. So ways of getting clay. And that will put more pits down, which would be good for us. Getting w the wood cutter, but it's getting rid of our precious strips. And then building a building. Ugh. I mean, the cultivator, but if he came out early... If he came out early, maybe we just do the top half instead of the bottom half. I'm not saying that we play all of these, because... I mean, if that came out early... A charcoal per card in your hand. Spending a wood to get two... Maybe we do do that? Yeah. I think other things. Getting food. We can get food quite easily, can't we? Again, at the cost of stuff. We don't want to build two things right now. Yeah, I think they're the best five out of our options right now. 
Jack, it's definitely solar. Well, I don't count as a full extra person. And between us, we I might make one ideas. competent player. I'm just trying to make it snappy. Yeah, Rach is like the timer. So hopefully we're going to build stuff. So this is round three out of seven. And as always in Glass Road, I feel like I haven't done anything yet. Oh, you've got these points as well. Don't forget them. You, your They're resources the are worth. You mess up. Your resources are worth some points. So it is still all from the buildings, but you do have three buildings on your thing. Which some of the buildings you can build upgrade these. So bricks and glass <laughs> worth a point each. Sand worth half a point each. We have got, hopefully, ways of making sand. And at the very end of the game, you can activate your processing stuff as much as you want before you score. Right then, Rach. Don't be building straight away. Because we've only got one option in there. Woodcutter. So. Get rid of something else then. Mm -hmm. And we get two wood. Would have been nice to get four. But now we've got the three wood that we need. Next up. The clay worker. Got to spend a water. And we get... Two. <laughs> We're gonna have a lot of bricks. We get two clay, which is then wow. instantly used. That's really messed up. Everything. Yep. <laughs> I want to say that I had no say over these five cards whatsoever. I don't think there's another thing in there that this gets us clay. This is why I say this is not a two-player I don't think there's another thing in that pile that gets us clay. Oh dear. Didn't anticipate the brick. There, there we go. There is. Oh, I planned for this. <laughs> so we could go... I mean, it's tempting to just get three clay, but we want pits out, don't we? Yeah, we do need so pits. We're, we can only choose one, so I'm going to say pit. <sighs> and one clay, please. Okay, it's not all over. And look at the brick production. A little safe thing here. We are going to spend a brick, I know. But... If you've got three bricks or glass, they won't be automatically made because that's your max. It is the max. If we don't spend bricks, we're doing well. Okay, so now this is the last two cards, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Okay, so we can choose. So I think we want to do the both of the cultivators, don't we? Yeah. So we spend a water. We've got no water left. And get two wood. And then the cultivator. Put something down. Do we want to keep going with forest? So we've built that, we, need, we better we do it. We need that for forest, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. We're only one pit away and hopefully that's going to happen. And then build something. We're going to build the sand factory? Sure. We better use these. <laughs> so spend a clay. A brick. A brick. And okay. three wood. To build the sand factory. And so what we can do now is we want this strip gone anyway, don't we? We could spend that and a wood to get four food. And we can at any time spend a food to get two sand. We mm -hmm. don't need, hopefully, we don't need sand so producing anywhere else. What the next thing is. Oh yeah, there. blue. And at the end... Every sand's worth half a point, so hopefully we can utilise that. Next up is the Forester's Hut. That sounds like something that wants us to have... Ooh, but for Forester is this, isn't it? Maybe it's going to make us get rid of these. Or well, we don't have to build it. Forester's Hut. Turn a pit into two wood. Ooh, I mean, we do want pits, but that's tempting. We need wood as well. We have got a pit that we don't necessarily need up here. But it'd be a bit of a waste to build a processing building and only use it once. We haven't even built the factory yet. We haven't. But we have spent a lot of time yeah. building that. I mean, it's worth it's worth eight points if we build it. Yeah, and all. we could even try and parlay it into... I'm really annoyed. We should have... I didn't know it was coming. But had I known, we shouldn't have put the joinery up there. If I'd have put the joinery somewhere else, that could have been a lovely grid of... Oh, well. Yeah, what could you do? Okay, 
so we've done all of the bits, haven't we? We've mm -hmm. built all the stuff, so these five are now not available. So now we go to round four, we can play six cards. So we want the forest manager in as much as possible, don't we? Because we need another one of these belts. Yeah. We want, we just had the pit worker, haven't we? And the cultivator. Yeah. So I don't think this round we're going to have any way of putting more tiles out no, unless you want a pond out. We need to make resources now. So in buildings, do we want a forester's hut out? We need three bricks. We need to make another brick. Oh, yeah. So we need to make clay and charcoal more than one of each. And we want to keep trying to make wood, don't we? So I think, I mean, water carrier gets us water that we've run out of and yeah. wood that we've run out of. The charcoal burner costs wood, which isn't ideal. Ideally, the forest manager comes out at the end and we can get loads of wood mm -hmm. from it. And then do the charcoal burner. So, what are you investigating over there? I'm just trying to see. To make sure that we do get the stuff back. Um, how many? Six cards? Yeah. Hey, Chris. How are you? What are your favourite games? I hope we're, we're not trashing it. We're trying our best. So the Slash and Burn Farmer is nice for getting charcoal, but we've only got two strips left. We've been spending them on loads. Yeah, I assume they're going to be pointless to us. And the supplier gets us something if we're desperate. We want clay, don't we? We're out of clay. Yeah, but... The feudal Lord can get you a clay. The clay getting cards are outrage. Yeah, so we might have to get the... the supplier as well. Because we need more than yeah. one clay and more than one charcoal, else we will not make another brick. Yeah. Well, we will, but then we won't have any. And we need... Oh, no, we don't necessarily need the other stuff. And getting wood. Oh, we've used a lot of cards that we would like now. Got used last time. Oh, these are these ones here are worth four points. Yeah, we probably should have. Uh, probably should have had something like that. I mean, the winery, we could get rid of a forest, but it just gets you three food and... And that's spending all of our bricks. Yeah. And yeah, the, the cards that we play to get stuff, it's not getting as much of anything. I mean, maybe we want the pond builder just to put stuff down to get rid of it. We could put a pond down here and put get Sand Island for four sand, but Sand Island's only worth one point. I don't know. I'm not, I mean, it's I'm only not... one water, so I suppose... I don't yeah. know. I'm not happy about these choices. It will reveal another thing for there, though. That's the yeah. thing is that we haven't seen any more of those. Yeah. We'll see. If the building comes out straight away, I don't think we can build anything. But if it comes out a little bit late, if it comes out like after we've got a water, maybe we just build that. To... It's a point. We just get it out of the way. I don't know. So what points have we got? Two, four... If we get a forest there, eight points. That's pretty good. Nine, ten, eleven. Twelve points? That's all right, isn't it? And it's round, what is it? Four. So hopefully you're spending your one-point bricks to get something good, but I'm not, uh, I'm not very confident in the card selection this round. So what have we got? Forest manager first up. So... That means we're going to be putting a forest out and not, not doing the bottom part then, isn't it? So get rid of the pond. Uh -huh. well, we need to, really. We, need we were to. going to use it for Sand Island, though. <sighs> we'll do the other bits and we can get rid of that another time. But it's not coming out for another two. No. Oh, there's a chance, isn't there, to do forest manager. We'll get that one, then. Yeah. Or if we did just put a forest randomly somewhere, we could build the winery. And get rid of two useless forests for six food. Building two the winery wood. is two bricks. Oh, true. But it is four points. Yeah. But you won't be able to build the factory. The factory's eight points, isn't it? So we just think get wood. Yeah. Just get four wood. That's probably good, isn't it? We haven't got ways of getting tons of wood. 
Okay, next up. Oh, we were building a pond, pond anyway. We wouldn't be able to build it there. So, shall I slash and... Not slash and burn, but do some joinery. Spend this wood. We don't have to build... Well, we, we can just get one. Oh, yeah, we could get one water. Oh, what? Are we building a pond? I was going to put it here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, do that then. I forgot. And then get four food. So shall I just split it again? Yeah. And then I'm putting a pond down here. And maybe we're doing Sand Island after all. Because you could always get rid of them later. Because as soon as you've built Sand Island, it doesn't do anything. Charcoal burner. Spend a wood to get three charcoal. One, two, three. Yeah, we don't want to make glass, do we, right now? Not really. We, we want to not gain glass because we want water. And so that's card four. Water carrier. Spend a food, no problem. To get two water. And do we want a sand or a wood? We can make sand any time, so we want a wood. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Last two. And then. Well, we want both of the supply, don't we? Yeah. So the feudal lord get a clay which makes that straight away and a wood and then the supplier we want to choose clay don't we yeah and then build something we're gonna build another brick again straight away aren't we oh no we're not because we're gonna take the clay down yeah so the factory what are we building no we're building the factory weren't we the factory yeah that doesn't spend the clay yeah so we're gonna build oh well we can't do anything about that can we it would be we could get a different good, but I mean, no, we don't. Yeah, let's just stick with it. We're building the factory, aren't we? Four wood, three clay, but then a clay gets made instantly. Brick, three brick. Brick, yeah, and then the brick gets made. The extra brick gets made instantly. We want that there, and then only one more pit, and that's worth eight points. We also get to do the other bit, don't we? I've done that. I got a clay with it. Oh yes. So they're out. They're back in. But now for round five, we it's back to just playing three cards. Is it? And six of them are out. Oh. So. Oh whoa. We're oh yeah. The next thing. Fresh orange. Oh, Warehouse. Delicious. And then cultivator. I, I kind of like just the idea that we'll put oh, all of this stuff like out. Oh, we're gonna like the warehouse. Oh. And building could be Sand Island if it comes out later. So the warehouse will get you one point at the end of the game per resource marker that is on a four, a five, a six, or a seven. Hmm. I mean, food and sand Depends. could be on that we because of our joinery. Yeah, that's true. It's got to be at the end of the game. Two wood and three clay to build. So probably pit worker. Keep getting them pits down. The pits. And maybe we want to build two buildings. We want yeah. two clay for that, don't we? Which hopefully we'd get from the pit worker. If a, if a builder came out first... We could build a sand island. And... Yeah. I don't know what. We should only build one, wouldn't we? It's worth a point, isn't it? What's your plan? Build the sand island and the winery? The f Oh yeah, the winery. I forgot about that. What was the second thing you were building? The forester's hut. Uh, oh no, why am I thinking of I the forester's hut? Forester? I'm thinking of the sand factory that we built ages ago that was in that place. Okay, winery. Uh, hmm. The winery will be tricky because we need one clay and two brick. We, so that means we would need to get three clay. Okay. Would the pit worker would get us that? No, hang on. Yeah, three clay. Yeah. Let's see what we get. I feel like we've gotten somewhere. As long as we build that forest, and don't forget. It'd be really sad at the end of the game for that to be worth no points. Well, it'll come out next time, won't it? Or is it in well, we've got the cultivator here that lets you play anything down. No problem. So, okay. only choose one out of... The cultivator. So we could choose we to do both parts build. of the builder. Probably. If we can afford it. 
So just use him for his cultivation skills. And do what? Because we want to build because we want to build a forest there, but we want both of those well, we've got the pit work. there for the sand island. Oh yeah? Are we getting sand island? I'm I i do not I understand what's happening. We're getting a winery. I thought we were getting Sand Island and Winery. Yeah. We don't oh, that's need come out in a bad order, right. hasn't it? We don't really need no. Sand Island, actually, because it's going to get us four sand. Don't get distracted by Sand Island. But it was just cheap. That's why it was a cheap one point. Yeah. We want the winery. But we can't afford it, can we? No, we need clay. Should we just get Sand Island down? Get Sand Island. Get Sand Island. Spend a water for our point, and then get four. we get four sand. Done. And then next time we get to put a forest, we don't have to... We could... The swamp pot is actually quite attractive. Just get rid of these ponds that we're going to throw away anyway, for two charcoal each. So the pit worker... We could just do one part of the pit worker, couldn't we? Oh, we need, you need to know the yellow building. Oh. Buttery. This could change everything. We might desperately want yeah. the buttery. So in one way, I want to do the top part of the pit worker, and then that's the pit worker sorted. Three food on each production wheel when you build it. Mm. We're pretty good at getting food, but I suppose that's it's quite cheap as well to build for a point. So what do you think, Rach? Get four clay, or do we put the last pit down that we what need? What two things are we building? What two things are we building? Because we just already built something. We were going to build... We are going to build Sand Island in the winery. Okay, the winery... <laughs> We need the clay for the winery, don't we? Yeah, we need at least three clay. So we've got to choose. We've got to choose the bottom of pit worker then. Yeah. So we'll have but three. But then, what two things are we building? We'll have three clay. Oh, I see what you mean. So if we say Is we have some three other cheap, if we, we say we build. have three clay. Yeah. So that's the bottom half. We don't yet know if we're doing both parts of it. So that would spend both of our bricks. We'd still have a clay left. It would cost a food to do the cord. It would spend a glass. And a glass. So that's the resources we would have to try and build a second thing out of. No. No. No, we're low no. on clay, aren't we, for everything, no. really? Everything needs clay. Everything on there needs clay. Apart from oh this, dear. And that is a brick. So I suppose oh, then. We have one clay. Yeah, we've got one clay. That. Friends of Nature. We could build. It? Oh no, we've got no wood. Yeah, zero wood. Three clay. One clay. Oh, that, that's what we're building. I've already Okay, you that. could build the swamp hut. No, we've oh, only got no. one clay. Oh, we couldn't build We anything. could build the sand producer. No, because we've got no wood. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we've got zero wood. So no, we can't build We can't build anything things. else. So, so reverse that. We don't need to reverse it, it just means we'll do the top part okay, of this one yeah. then. We'll do both of that. And now we've got a clay for next time, maybe. But we only did one build. We'll build the winery. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh don't forget we can do the we do the thing for the winery. We will have one. Oh. Whoa. Alright, get rid of that. <laughs> and the clay it got us. So build the winery first. So we're saying we're doing both of this because we can't go back. Yeah. What order so we winery's do going... So we've already done that. That's done. Here then, I guess. Yeah, so we spent... Two... Get rid of this. Yeah. To get three, three food. food. And a wood. Can we build anything with that? I don't know. <laughs> what did we get excited about that? We only want to get rid of one of them. You said no take backs. We could have probably taken it back. Because we haven't built two things yet. Well, now we get to see what if there's something amazing here that we can oh, yeah. afford. Quick. Next, coming out in the yellows is the Carpenter's Workshop. That doesn't sound like something I'm we're going to... That sounds like this. something that wants us to have a load of wood. Oh, my gosh. It wants a lot of wood. Get seven wood. We can't afford that. Oh, clay and two bricks gives you seven wood. Well, we can't afford it, but... Hmm. 
We still can't afford anything, can we? We've got well, uh, we wood now. We can afford this. We can afford this. We've got no wood, so that's pointless. That's worth zero points as well, isn't it? We can. We could have said we did both of these. Could we? Why did you we'll do, do that? One. No takes backs. I'll take that back. We're not building two things, no. are we? Have you spent the. Yeah, I spent the food when I was doing all of my weird calculations. So now. Did you get this extra clay? Yeah. Round six, we can play four cards again. So they're out. They're back in. Hi, Mike. Well, yeah. The, the thing you desperately needed comes out just after you spend all of your resources on something. Uh, the, the winery's ability was a bit rubbish for us, but it was worth four points, which is pretty huge. Okay, now, what's the plan? We've got two rounds left. What are we going to build? The warehouse might get us some points, but not many. We've got so much... We've got so many pits that we could potentially get some clay out. For a point of these... The extension isn't going to... The extension could go down here. That would be worth two points, but How is that great? Have we got left? Two rounds. That's it? Mm-hmm. We've got a four card and a five card round. <sighs> Marty is lying on the bed. He's not been on the camera lately. He's not in here. But he'll be back when he fancies it. Can't make a cat do anything, can you? Andre, the card, card choice solo, you've got seven rounds. And in each round, you've got a different number of cards you can pick. Three, four, five, six. Three, four, five. We're about to be in round six, which is four cards. Uh, so you pick the cards, shuffle them up, and then... Each round, you, you like draw one that you picked, choose one side of it. So as if somebody else had played the card early. And then once you're down to two cards left, you can pick one of them to do both things on. Yeah. And then the cards you picked for that round are locked out next round. So. What do we now want to get built? And how are we going to do it? The Carpenter's Workshop seems like an amazing way of getting loads of wood. Right, but we've only got two rounds left. The Swamp Hut's quite tempting because we've got clay we need charcoal. and we don't want these ponds anyway. We need charcoal. Charcoal is and holding us back on The everything. Swamp Hut would get us four charcoal. Mm. We do have two clay. But if we spent the two clay, we would not make any bricks. No. I mean, we can spend a wood to get some charcoal with the charcoal burner. What else do we want to build? The forest manager could get us some wood. We, we want the forest manager to put a forest down, don't we? Could do it with the cultivator next time. There's the clay worker. We're a bit low on water as well. What else do we want to build? I'm thinking the swamp puts an easy point and it gets us... Four what charcoal. About after that, do we want glass or do we want bricks? Oh yeah. It would be nice to get loads of water, build the hot springs. I was say the hot springs is um, four points. It's just expensive, isn't it? With the position that we're in right now, getting two glass. Also, we've got no water, so we're not going to get any no. charcoal. Well, there's the water carrier and the pond builder. The water carrier played late would get you four water. But I think it's maybe too late to be thinking about that. Maybe think about getting the carpenter's workshop. And then once we've got all of that wood, we can easily get more food and sand. So maybe think about the warehouse in the last yeah, round. Sure. See how this round goes. Yeah. Maybe we won't really need the charcoal burner. So what do we need for the swamp put? Two clay, which we've got. Should we go for it? We've only got one chance only of building cards. something. Is yeah. Right? And then five cards next time. I don't know about this. I don't think 30 points is happening. I don't think that was ever on the cards. 
I think we're decent though. What are we on? Six, eight, sixteen, twenty-one. Twenty-four? That's pretty great. And twenty-four. Something's gone wrong. How many? Four. No, what? I thought you said 24. I think we're on 24 points. Are you serious? I think How so. How did that even happen? 6, 8, 9. That's worth 8, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 17, 21. And then we've got 3 points of sand, I think. Okay. Right. Charcoal burner then. Spend a wood. Our wood's gone. But we can have 3 charcoal. Where are we putting it? If we want the carpenter's workshop, we want bricks. Well, we're gonna have to put it. But on if there. we build, yeah, if we build, yeah, if we put it here, it will get rid of our clay because it will make bricks, and we need clay. But we want one bricks. No, no, ignore me. In the future, maybe we want one bricks. Supplier. So this is our only building chance, isn't it? So we want to build the swamp hut. Just get him anywhere. I haven't actually got a wood to do that. And then, should we just get rid of the swamps? Because we don't want them, yeah. do we? The ponds, whatever they are. For two charcoal each. How many bricks do we need? What, two bricks for that? Maybe we build something from the bottom that doesn't want bricks. I thought we were getting this. That doesn't want bricks, do we? Yeah, yeah. so we don't want charcoal here, do we? Just leave it there. On that Maybe one. you put four on there, then I'll just put two on there. I mean, we've got seven or the something blue. there. The next blue. Sawmill. Oh, what was on top? Useless for us. Yeah, far too late. We've gotten rid of almost all of them. And it's quite expensive. If that was your first one, and it was your way of getting rid of all of them for getting loads of wood, that would be pretty great. So we either get loads of clay, Which or... We can get loads of wood from the forest oh, manager. We can't even build the warehouse, can we? Because we've got no wood. Well, we'll get, get wood from this oh, if yeah. we do both parts of it. Put a, there's our fourth of that. We did. We weren't on those points yet, but now we are. But we need three... That gets us a wood. Three clay to do the warehouse. And if we only do one part of this, we can't, then um, we don't have any water, then we do. Then we haven't got enough clay. So if we did, okay. So we might only have to get four wood and four clay, and that'll let us build the warehouse next to. Okay. Or we'll do both four of them if you want. If you want to pull the forest out. Yeah, we need to do the clay first, otherwise the glass will make itself. There we go. Because spending the water first would stop the glass making itself. Okay then. Did you get the wood? Yeah, just one wood. No, why didn't you do this? Because I thought we were doing both parts of the clay. Yeah. Oh, have you built a forest? Yeah. Oh. Because we need the fourth forest, don't we? So that's oh, worth so four points. Oh, so now we haven't got enough wood anyway. Well, can we get wood with the other cards that we've got? How much wood do we need? One more. We should can surely get one wood, just not necessarily before okay. the building comes out. Okay. So last round. We are back up to five cards. So we can spend food pretty easily. That gets that's our wood. That's not very good though, is it? We've still got a strip. I don't really want to use it. We haven't got any water. If the fuel collector came out early, that would be a complete waste of time, wouldn't it? No. The pit worker we can get his clay. We should have done both woods then if we knew that we had the pit worker. Okay. Do you know what I mean? So instead of doing yeah. both of these... Two less clay for four more wood. Yeah. Because we knew that we had the pit worker. Well, I didn't know. Okay. So pit worker. We'll say water carrier because food is... Anything that costs food to do, we've got loads of food. And then... Don't really want to spend the strips for anything. We've got charcoal, haven't we? Charcoal can get you food, but we can get food quite easily. Maybe the cultivator, but I don't I don't know that we need the cultivator for anything now. Do 
I think anything that's going to let us get a resource, I don't know, because if this comes out first, we are in trouble. Unless we have another we option nothing, to build yeah. with, like the yeah. cultivator. I think so. And what should be both the first two cards that get played? As soon as we gain water, it's going to just all disappear. Wow. Well, actually, only the first two, I don't know. Right, let's pick a, just pick a fifth card. We've got no water. I don't think the pond build is any worth doing at all anymore. Maybe the the feudal lord can get us a... A clay and a wood. A clay and a wood. Yep, that's it. Yeah, it's really snappy. I don't, we're doing it justice, really. But, well, if you're playing it solo, you can kind of well, just mull over the puzzle it, and stuff. Would you, but also, yeah. you, would, you would take forever. Yeah. But you, like, I suppose less is certain here as well, because you don't even know what cards are going to come out when. Yeah. But same in the multiplayer, even with the two-player variant that works very well. You, you don't know that you're going to get to even play the cards that you picked, because... The other people doing completely different things to you are going to completely ruin what your plans were. But in a fun way. An, in an unintentional way. So the cultivator, we don't need to put anything down, do we? No, but we also don't want to... We can't build now. Why? What we're building. Oh, because uh, yeah, we can't afford the clay. Unless we build something else, but... Because how many points is this going to be worth to us? Three. I'm 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 aiming that we'll have loads of food at the end. So four. And sat. We've already got loads of sand. Well, that's no good. We haven't got bricks. We haven't got any there. bricks at all. We could build a buttery. That's no good. That's can't do. Can't do. Could do that. Hmm. But uses what we need to build the warehouse, really. That's the problem. Yeah. We haven't got any no, glass. No. No. The sand piles Useless. are worth nothing anyway. Useless. Useless. Can't build anyway. We should go for a buttery. But then the other building card's going to come out, isn't it? And we... Well, we still haven't got enough. If the building card comes out straight away before the play card, we can't we build it anyway, can is we? the point. We get three foods on each wheel. We'll Which we've got space for. Even though we can get food from doing the joinery. Okay, what's the next thing from there? Yellow. Mm-hmm. Because there might be something else that we want to build. Come on, mouse. Fishery. But that wants ponds. It does want ponds. It's the pond version of the winery. Oh, yeah. And you get a water instead of a wood. It's only worth two points, but it is a lot cheaper to build. Okay. Again, should your board all be buildings? No, you'd still have the resource tiles, because, like, yeah, some of these want the resource tiles to exist. And your strategy probably involves someone like the forest manager that's like, hey, I get to play... Because in the multiplayer game, there's no restriction, right? You can play the same card every round. But people will start to realise that you're going to play this every round and they will also play Have that it. card. Yeah. So so in the multiplayer game, you play a card and then if nobody else has got it in their hand, you get both parts of it. But if any one player has... Everyone who has chosen that card has to play it when you do and everyone gets one of the two. Their decision. But yeah, that's, that's the, the trick of the multiplayer game. So... You would be building up, hey, I'm, I'm great at getting loads of wood or food because I've filled my board with forests and all of these points, things that want forest. But you're giving everyone an extra turn and everyone is hampering you because you you suddenly can't keep putting forests out if you want to get like the the income from her. It's cool. Feudal Lord. So, you, yeah, the Feudal Lord is better for... I suppose he would have worked in solo as well. So his top thing is add a building from each stack into your private offer. So there is a stack of each of the building tiles and we would have gone from the list for that so they are extra things from the display that nobody else can build 
which I suppose in the solo game, the advantage is if you did that round one, that's three more buildings you know are coming out yeah, you and you could know, plan a bit. Yeah. Oh well, live and learn. It's the first time doing a challenge. So we get one each of them. Clay and a wood. And then the builder. That's mm. bad, isn't it? Yep, yeah, because we can't afford to build the warehouse. So a food for it. Can we afford to build anything before I pay the food? So no bricks. Have we got two? So no points. That's not worth any points. That will be adjacent to two. Can't, can't build know any bricks. Brick. Can't afford. The, we're one clay short for that. We've got no glass, no bricks. One clay short for that. No bricks. We could build the colonization house, which is worth a point. Oh man, that's really. Uh, it's something, isn't it? That was really unlucky. And then I don't think the other cards we care about. No, because we don't even want things on four, five, six, no. or seven anymore. We could put a pit out if we want, but it, it doesn't really matter, oh, does it? I can't believe that. I'm really bummed about it. So, well, we can make some glass, and that's a point each. Yeah, hang on. It's then. like yeah. the water carrier. <clears throat> if we do both parts of the water carrier, that gets us one, two, three, four water, a wood, and a sand. Which automatically makes three glass, which is your max. There's no way of us getting a brick because we we haven't got anything that gets charcoal, there which is, is the we thing. Have. We've just built it. Oh, oh, perfect. That's it. All planned, as I said. Get rid of that strip. Get a charcoal. Suddenly, we've got a brick. If that had come out later as well, we could maybe have used that brick to build a have second we done thing with it. With this? No, but I don't know what we're gonna do. So, oh, we're not full on sand anymore. We could get four, yeah. five sand, which is whatever to max it out. Because sand is the only like standard resource that's worth any points. In the glass and bricks are worth big points, and that's it. So at the end, I think it's still similar, isn't it? Two, six, seven, eight, nine. That's worth eight. So seventeen, eighteen, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 27, 28, and then this is three and a half, so 31 and a half? Well, I am surprised. I'm very surprised. I feel like something's gone wrong, but Things Rach went... is the official adjudicator I of all games. Not. Rach is Rach takes great pride in she will be there somewhere. She has never made a mistake <laughs> in a board game somewhere. before. Yeah, I always mess up. As she adjudicates things. Steve says that when you're in a playthrough, I make a lot less mistakes. Thanks, Steve. You're keeping me on the low. That's why I'm kind of surprised by this. Like, and then I think, is Uwe talking about the solo game or the game in general? I think he's talking about the game in general when he says 30 is amazing. It says it somewhere. Give it, here. it says it says it somewhere that thirty is an amazing score. Or whatever word I've been using the whole playthrough. He said that. Remarkable score. I feel like you've and I feel like... that we haven't seen any evidence of this. True. Um As I said, my references on our oh, BG stats are pretty old. Cause we did great, but it also makes me think that we've done something wrong. Let's see scores scores in previous games. We did a three player game where the scores were ten and a half, eighteen and a half, and twenty four. Yeah, you got twenty so you did quite well. Twenty to twelve and a half to eleven. Oh, we won't say who's Mom's getting these around. high scores. We know who's getting the high scores. Twenty three and twenty and a half. And then we've definitely played it at least a couple of times in multiplayer since then. I've got a hard time believing I've never played it solo. I've never got a tracking of thing. You can use one of the last two cards. Well, that would explain a lot if we've been doing that. But we're, we're talking about the score seems unusually high if we've been playing properly. Well, if we haven't been playing it right, that's the whole game. That's, uh, I'm blaming Rach. Well, I haven't read the rules. You had the solo rules. Hey, I'm I've just come I'm, and sat down. I'm known for my mistakes. Wow. 
You wouldn't even let me have the rules a minute ago. The first ability. Yeah. No. Let me have an investigation. Yeah, it's there. Oh, Chris. Ignore the other Where... card. Where were you at the start? Where have you been, Chris? <laughs> oh, well. We'll just have to try again. We'll try again in Mace So this whole playthrough <laughs> is largely a waste of time. We have played it completely no. wrong. The point of the <laughs> the point of the playthrough, as all of them, as like I don't say because like I think it sounds snarky when it's just written down in text, but for especially the very persnickety this is a very big goof, but like for the oh you were supposed to take three resources and you only took two in this round, so this playthrough is void comments that believe me, happened quite a lot. So the the playthrough, as much as I would like to get everything right. I want to give you a feel for a game of Glass Road. It's not a how to play video. That's my exact point. And like, I feel like going on, if I start every video with that, or if I, who did I see? Was it, who was I watching? I think it was One Stop Cork Shop, actually. They've got a little card at the start of their playthroughs that says something along the lines of, like, we're, we're trying to have fun and, it's to show off the game rather than being if uh it's not z-man now is it z-man don't really exist as a company outside pandemic whoever yeah. publishes glass road now i know capstone do in america do capstone do all of them mind you it's not a good advert to have me doing a house play is it when i've done this but hey i'll never make that mistake again in 10 years when it comes to playing glass road again Shall we do that, right? Shall we come back for the... We can't really do this challenge again because we know... You could do an older challenge, even though, like, they're finished. Oh, in January, somebody got 42 and a half well done. on that challenge. You can see the high scores for all of the challenges. That's the highest ever score, a 42. Yeah, that's the highest ever score. Well, yeah, we could go back and do one of the older... Not right now, but we could go back and do one of the older challenges. We could do Maze when it happens, assuming that they're going to continue with it. No, no, that these challenges exist. So that's like... When Steve watches this later, he's going to be shaking his head from the very beginning. So that's like... <laughs> oh, wow, a whole card less every time. Yeah, but I would say on that... I suppose we made it easier for the first yeah. five rounds. You would but get the last more down. two rounds, we didn't really want the last card that we had, and we just did it as a... But we made it easier for ourselves yeah. the first five rounds. You got the new capstone edition, so you you've got like, as well as that, you get all of the, like the the various promos that are from different places. I think they're all in the capstone one, I think. And your promo tells me in English. We've got this little translator sheet that someone made to say what the mm. the the advent calendar. They were originally in a promo advent calendar. Do they still do that? I wonder if they do. I think we only got the very first one, didn't we? Or maybe we got a couple. And after maybe the second one, it turned out that there were so many games that we didn't have that there were promos for that it wasn't worth us getting. Yeah, I think there's I think there's four promo tiles in the Harlequin. They might just be included in the game now. I think as well, I was seeing one thread. They've actually removed one of the... There is a tile in the game now that tells you the solo rounds, you know, the number of cards mm. to play. And they have removed a, tile, a building from the game that apparently could lead to some kind of broken combo. Like, rather than adjust it or anything, it's just like, that That one's gone now. And there's like a... So there's a helpful solo tile, but there's a there's a building missing as well that might just uh, break everything. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough, because sometimes it's important to, like, know that rules are right, but I just think, like, oh, do you... You were supposed to move three and you moved two. I, I can't do anything about that now. It's not a rules mistake. There's... It's it's tough. You want things to be right, but at the same time, there's there's no prizes for like comments that often don't get through. Of we'll being get a like, ton of comments. <laughs> of being like, oh, you cheated in such and such a game, and blah blah blah. Like, well, cheated's a bit hard, a bit strong because there's there's no prize for winning this. There's no like. Like, I don't go after the playthrough 
like marching about the town telling everyone <laughs> about my performance in that game. So, like, oh cool, like win or lose, saying, oh cool, well, I had fun playing that game. Moving on, on to the next thing. That's it, boy. We're, we're here to play games and have fun. Like, I'm annoyed at that because that is a, a pretty huge goof. That if Rach had gone through the I rules. I didn't look at the rules. No, Rach didn't look at them. I just told her how to play it. If I Rach, if Rach, Rach I don't yeah. know how to play the solo no. mode. If, if Rach had read the solo bit and told me, that wouldn't have happened. But, hey, it stuck with me. Sometimes. Sorry, everyone. But hey, we've had a busy, we've had a busy day. We've had busy a busy day. time, the last few days. But yeah, I I think then we sh we should fix it because Glass Road. It's it's happening partly because I wanted to do it and that's why I put it in the vote. But it stormed the vote. I think it got more than double. Any other option in the vote? I'm scrolling to the vote now. Yeah, got pretty much double. Wow. Anything else? And I was surprised, like, I've, I've got such a strong memory of playing this live, but I haven't, like, before now. But it's, unless I did it and I deleted it. Yeah, this is the beginner's, this, this is the beginner's drips, variant. It's like a drips variant. And yeah, if, if you're just fumbling around and you end up with 30 points, that's, that's a nice beginner's solo variant, isn't it? That's, that's the, that's now the key, really. Now we play again and see if we can top it. This was easy mode. Now we play normal and see if we can top it. Yeah. Top it. I don't think knowing the buildings that are going to come up is uh, is really going to help because I'm not going to remember. But I think... What do I think? Yeah, I think we I should come know. back. I'm not saying like it's going to be an absolutely regular thing because that would be cool, but things get in the way. We need to remember to do this again in three weeks or whenever. Whenever the May challenge comes out, we'll do it again playing... Not the Tor and Rach variants. Rach was just like, before we started, she's just like, can we just play one extra card per round, please? And I said, I'll go on then. So yeah, we'll do it again. We could like come back, as I said. There's, this is challenge number 67 at this point. Well, that's it, I'm never going to come back. I'm too embarrassed. So yeah, this, this has been going since like 2018. Usually, what were we playing? Oh yeah, Rach, co Rach corrected things that were going wrong in Unsettled that we did together. You'll see that like, there's been a few playthroughs lately. The Normally I do read the rules first, but I didn't have time. Yeah, Rach, Rach reads... Usually the way that we do it when we're learning the game together is Rach reads the rules. That is out how loud. I learn better yeah. as well, if I see the rules. Rach can't learn them just listening. But I'm I also then can correct things. somebody if... Yeah, Rach's got a... I just got a better memory of stuff. With the Harry Potter deck building game, you got a bag of six promo cards for free. That's pretty cool. Oh, that, that hasn't happened for a while. I remember like ordering something and it was like a sealed game and the shop had like slit a little... Yeah. A little slit in the seal to slide like some promo cards in. That was nice. But yeah, that that is it then. For the successful stream of our... The test of our easy variants of Glass Road. And yeah, well, I think we should come back with the next solo challenge. I'm so not agreeing. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be posting the score in the forums because I messed it up. But <laughs> <laughs> we'll try again next time. Go back into the old solo challenge. Just go just go through all of these challenges, posted a score like five years later. It's really cool that's really that's still going. I wonder if the Feast for Odin... I've, I got a memory of the Feast for Odin one stopping, but maybe it didn't. I mean, you could look Maybe right I now. just stopped. I've got a, I haven't have got a keyboard. I've got to um, click on names and stuff to try and get to Feast for Odin. Yeah, Rach is the official rules adjudicator from now on. I'm not. Coming up, there is still a playthrough this week. There is going to be... I'm just trying to figure out which part's coming up. Part two of Eldritch Horror is coming up on Sunday on the channel, and... There will be... It's a doozy. There will be an early playthrough on Patreon as well. Which I think has been spoiled. I don't want to spoil things, but yeah, there's there's, there's stuff happening. But uh, yeah, you can see the finale of that. We had a pretty amazing start. Probably the best start you could possibly have in the configuration we were playing Eldritch Horror with. And yeah, you can see where we go from there. Because I think we only, even though 
it was a, it was a good length episode, but we only I would say it was a bit got a few rounds episode. in. Oh yeah, there was a very bad thing as well that happened, but a pretty like in terms of saving the world, it couldn't have gone much better other than yeah, losing an investigator. That was pretty bad. Now you did just spoil it. Well, that was part one. I mean, part two. Oh. The yeah, so we played both, didn't we? So sorry, we played yes. the Harry Potter one. I don't know when I that was now. I remember the Harry Potter one more than the Toy Story yeah. one. I don't know why. I think the downside for the Toy Story one for us that was that we'd already played all the way through the Harry Potter oh, one. Oh, yeah. We were kind of like, oh, yeah, this, this is cool. I like it being Toy Story. But the... Yeah, we've 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 gone all the way through this. Because that was, it was like a good... It was good for deck building in that... It, like, it started you from scratch, didn't it? Like, it was a very, very basic deck builder like book one or whatever and then as you progressed and added more and more things to it it built up i think he even said didn't it like if you're familiar with deck builders start mm. oh yeah start on this one or whatever. books later hey that was a a different time in a different world it was a happier place a long time ago so yeah there's there's more stuff coming up and we'll be live next week i'm not sure what is going to be in there leviathan wild has just arrived that is like I'm really really excited about that, but that is not uh, come as as highly in the votes as I would like it to. I think the next highest currently it could all change. You can vote still going on. If you'd like to join up on Patreon, the the next highest vote range is for one of your games. Is it? Yeah. I don't have any games by the way. You have got some games. This was I think probably i think it was like a birthday present for you or a christmas present maybe as we got into board games for me do you remember what it is no dungeon pets oh i'm not playing that <laughs> do you want to be here for the solo of dungeon pets it's too you could, hard you could be here we could play a full-on two-player game of it no way that i did it far too embarrassing for i did years me. and years ago a, a proper full-on little glass marty playthrough of dungeon pets to know how i did that because as you start getting loads of pets and they get old and they need loads of cards each, there's just stuff going everywhere. So, like, I don't know how I managed that for Little Glass Marty as well. But yeah, I'm, I'm, it'll probably be with a so one of the fan-made solo variants, which is basically play the two-player game and some stuff gets tightened up and taken away. So you're largely just free to play Dungeon Pets, which, you know, as nice as it is to have bots and solo systems and stuff, there's uh, there's a lot going on already in Dungeon Pets that I don't want to be thinking about what a competing thing is going to do. I just want to raise some pets. I don't remember having fun either, Bonnie. I really wanted it because it looked really cute. And yeah, then... I don't think I don't think either of us were expecting the the sheer complexity. Especially it was it was fairly early on, wasn't it, into mm -hmm. board gaming? Yeah, there's. There's poop shoveling, there's stopping them escaping their cages, there's stopping them getting too mutated. There's a there's a lot going on with these pets, but yeah, that's I, and it's like I, I I put a mix of like some brand new things, there's some requests of do these things again. There were some old things that like like this, like Glass Road Dungeon Pets. I've done playthroughs for them, but I think about five years ago, and I've never done them solo. And like I, I feel like like Glass Road. If it's not available, it's going to be in between print runs. I think like Capstone are mm. the are the reprinters now that Seaman got rid of all of their. They did something, didn't they, where they were like, "We we print Pandemic and such and such now." I'm gonna see if I can find Marty. Oh yeah, for a for a goodbye. But yeah, Dungeon Pets. I wonder if that's it. Must still be in print. If it's not still in print, I, I was gutted that like they did the they did the anniversary editions, didn't they? For they did one for Galaxy Trucker. They did one for Dungeon Lords. But then when the fifth anniversary of Dungeon Pets rolled around, they didn't do one. And now it's like, how old is Dungeon Pets? I don't think it's in my recent history. I can't check. As I said, like, I haven't got a keyboard on the table right now. So I can't just type things in. But yeah, Dungeon Pets is great. If really complex in a way. Here he is. Yeah, will the, will the purring come through or will the noise cancelling just get rid of him? Annoyed Marty. Here he is, though. He'll make a little appearance. You know, I would like to do one for Windmill Valley. That's... Is that Danny Garcia, right? The designer of Barcelona? I think it looks really cool. I've not been sent one or asked yet, but 
I hope to be asked, and yeah, I'd, I'd do a playthrough for one. Because it sounds pretty, pretty cool. It's like a, a bit of a lighter game from them as well, isn't it? One time he doesn't want to walk all the way across the table. He's having a sniff of the microphone, but I don't think, uh, I don't know if his purring is coming through. The noise cancelling might just get rid of that purring. But yeah, I will if he would like me to. Usually they, they email when it's time, maybe it's not time yet. I know there's like, there'll be people that get the, the super early ones, but unfortunately I'm not one of those people. But hey, there's, there's plenty of other stuff going on and arriving. No purring. That's a shame. That's uh, that's noise cancelling for you. Thank you everyone for being here though. Apologies for the goof. We can only blame Marty for distracting us. Probably was walking across the rule book when I read that bit. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll be back for another one. Like when there's another challenge, I think we'll give it another go. And now we've had our practice refreshing glass road. We'll be experts next time, won't we? You only need one game to become an expert, right? Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. And I will see you in pre-recorded form on Sunday. We'll both see you. And uh, I'll see you on Monday for the, the coming up post on Patreon. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.